the Astro World. What is your take on it? Live Nation is gonna get. This is a new Live Nation gets a lot of lawsuits because of uh, venue uh, in- incidents. Well, as, that thing with Astro World with Travis Scott, I'm sure he's devastated by what happened because listen, nobody can predict that. I mean, but the only the bad part about it is again, like I tell people about these concerts and stuff, you have so many people coming out, young people coming out to these concerts, man, and. They all want to see these artists, and I get it because it's like big acts, and they, they overcrowd the place, man. People come in, and so many people in such an area, so many tickets get sold, and the problem is, is that the fans are accusing Travis Scott of being insensitive, not right. stopping the the uh, the show, not uh, paying attention to what was going on. But he did. I think he did stop the show. I think he did try to stop the show, but he's got a hell of a lot of lawsuits coming his way him the promoters and even drake right. and drake was just a special guest because drake's one of my favorite artists you know mm-hmm. and he was out there on the show and look he got caught up in this and i'm sure you know these lawsuits are not happy for anybody because they're suing everybody and today we have a litigious society where people sue and they're going to come after him hard for that because listen there were eight people killed and over 200 people injured and every time you see the press or you see the news there's always a new victim or a new person that was injured or really bad because of this concert and then they accused Travis Scott of uh, this surfing thing that happened before where he encourages the crowd to or dive in the crowd or the crowd to get a little uh, wild and crazy so all these things are going to be used against him uh, especially when it comes to a civil suit right because this isn't new with Travis listen I, I, I just started doing some homework and um he even, a kid got paralyzed, ended up paralyzed because he encouraged the kid to like leap off a balcony into the crowd and he was saying, no, 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 it's it's okay, you could do it, Make the crowd is gonna catch you. I mean, I don't, I, listen, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan favorite of Travis Scott too. Right. And I don't think that he in, intended to do anything like that. I think he tried to just have a good concert, but unfortunately this stuff happens and it happened where people got killed. So now, in the future, you could believe law enforcement with these rap concerts like Ruling Loud and anything that has to do with big rap artists is gonna be scrutinized to, I mean, big time. So be prepared for that. In 2022, you're gonna see a lot of these big venues scrutinized, a lot of these artists that come out and have these shows. Is it fair? No, it's not. But they're going, because of the things that have happened in the past, and when these things happen, people have to prepare for them and they have to be, you know, accountable. Right. Because now they're not just suing Travis Scott and Drake and, and Live Nation. They're suing the venue. They're suing the security company that probably has the venue. They're suing everybody they can that, that were involved in that event that left to those tragedies, you know? Right. So. It is. Uh, any last words? Uh, I just hope that we can have a good holiday. Thanksgiving's coming up and Christmas. Right. Hope everybody has a wonderful uh, holiday season. Hope the violence stops. I hope that a lot of these rappers, for their sake, uh, stay out of trouble for 2022. And the beard is right. You came correct with the beard this time. I came correct.